the internationally acclaimed Tribangi Dance Theatre, renowned for bridging cultural differences through dance, recently performed at the Playhouse in Durban, and Mela was invited to attend. The Tribangi Dance Theatre owes its creation to choreographer J.S. Mupan. Tribangi was invited two years ago to be part of the celebrations of the Sri Veera Boga in Perumal Temple. Obviously, when you're told that you are going to be performing at the Opera Theatre at the Playhouse, the pressure is already there because you know that there's an expectation that you would do the best that you can in presenting a theatrical production that people in Durban will really, really appreciate and enjoy. The temple has played a vital role in the spiritual and cultural life of the community and the audience looked forward to an experience that would stimulate the senses and touch the soul. The program began on a classical note, evoking the ancient temples of India. In a way, this also represented a homecoming for Jayaspuri. Jayaspuri actually is a child of Tongat. She was born and brought up there. And when we were planning the century celebrations, the first person we thought of uh, was, uh, you know, although she started off in Tonga and she's now internationally acclaimed through Tribangi Dance Theatre, she has not lost touch with her roots and a connection with this humble town of Tonga. When you brought up in South Africa, a multicultural society, people of different races and different cultures collide on a daily basis. It's important for us to make our culture, our dance, and everything that we know accessible to the wider South African audiences. Shadow play has long formed a part of the ancient Indian storytelling tradition, and Jayaspuri incorporated it in an innovative way. We used a lot of shadow work in the production to do something that even from a theatrical point of view, it would give people another experience when telling a story that is religious based. The story comes from one of our gods, Lord Vishnu, and we celebrate this temple called the Viraboga in Perumal Temple in Tongat. We are waiting for this form of Vishnu to come down to rid the earth of all its, its destruction. We talk about how earth was so pure and then we go into the destruction and how humans actually destroy the earth. We use the shadow work because shadow from a theatrical point of view gives people a different experience when they walk into the theater. Something more entertaining because that's what we do as a dance company and something that would give them food for thought. By introducing topical aspects to the narrative, the current relevance of its message could be established. Living in South Africa, where we are very protective of our wildlife, it pains me to see that animals are killed for no good reason. And I think the rhino scene for me was very, very profound, because I would like to give that message that we must stop the senseless killing of rhinos. They're also part of God's creation. After the stylized monochrome shadow play, the costumes made a colorful contrast. Costumes are very much part of the overall presentation because it's a visual art and everything has to come together. It's your music, your dance, your theatrical experiences and your costumes. Although they are all highly trained in the art of Bharatanatyam, certain aspects of the production required the performers to enter unfamiliar territory, as dancer and choreographer Tabo Monana explained. Being part of this production, we had to tell a story that we are not familiar with, so every now and again we had to look up to our Indian colleagues to actually help. It's all about dancers, artists coming together to produce work. And that's what Tribangi is about. We don't, we don't look at ourselves as anything else but artists working creatively to create work that people will enjoy and people will come, get out of their homes to come and watch. For the performers and the audience, this was an opportunity to discover common ground. As much as, as African, black African people, uh, with their roots, I mean, we have a, you know, our way of doing things. They have their own way, but at the end of the day, we all come down to the same thing. We pray to the same God, asking for the same things. We just do it differently. We should continue to come together as different cultures, because when we stand as one, nothing can stand against us. The colour of our skin doesn't determine who we are. Spread the message of love, 
the, the message of unification, the, the message of the brotherhood of oneness. And let us make South Africa the greatest nation in the world so that we can all be proud to say that we are South African. To the whole of South Africa, let's join hands to be the people that we were meant to be and to make this nation even greater despite all the odds.